my poor C gang. Welcome to another episode with your boy. Cooking time, cussing and content. Poor C gang for life, baby. What? Don't judge me, judge your damn self. What up, what up, what up, what up, my poor C gang? What it do? Cooking comedy, cussing and cocktails. What? Don't judge us, judge your motherfucking self. Look, Chicago, Chicago, our sister city. What's going on? What's going on? We got to do better. I remember when Detroit was the murder capital of the world, and that was in the the late 80s. But what's going on in Chicago now? I just don't know. We were talking about visiting Chicago. Hell, I'm scared, and I'm a Detroit ride or die motherfucker. I mean... It is just tripping me out. Come on, Chicago. Come on, y'all. My black people, please, let's do better. Chicago, I'm praying for y'all. Peace. Check this out, y'all. Nine people have been shot. Two have died since yesterday evening in Chicago. Glenn Marshall is live at police headquarters with what we know so far. Glenn. Yeah, good morning. Now, the latest five victims are all in the hospital recovering. One of them is in critical condition after being shot in the leg multiple times. Now, last night, police were on the scene investigating the shooting that happened. It happened around 930 last night near the corner of South Hamlin and West Monroe. Police say they were called to the scene and saw four men and a woman suffering multiple gunshot wounds outside. They were taken to area hospitals in good condition. The 38-year-old man is listed in critical condition after suffering multiple gunshot wounds to the leg. So far, no one has been arrested in this shooting. This comes after another mass shooting took place yesterday morning in Inglewood. Police told us the shooting took place during some sort of house party around 5.30 yesterday morning near the corner of 62nd and South Morgan. We're told an argument broke out and nine people were shot with four being killed. One of them, one of those who were murdered was a victim. Her name, 19-year-old Shemitria Williams, whose father says she was ready to celebrate a major milestone later that day. She was killed on her graduation day, 19 years old. You need to stop the violence, put the guns down, resort to something else because you're killing innocent people. And as of right now, no one has been arrested in either of these shootings. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, police are asking you to contact them immediately. For now, we're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News. Now at six, violence in Chicago reaching a new level this weekend. Yeah, police say they need help addressing the problem before summer is in full swing. And WGN Sean Lewis is live at CPD headquarters now with more. Sean. Ray, Mike, of 50 people shot over the weekend in Chicago, 12 of them killed, making this the deadliest weekend so far in 2021. Police Superintendent David Brown saying police alone cannot stop the violence. This weekend, the sobering numbers. More than 50 people shot, 12 killed in Chicago. Among them, 15-year-old Dejon Gator, shot in the head and killed by two gunmen as he was on his front porch in Lawndale. I don't know what, they, uh, what the city going to do about the crime right now. I don't know. I don't believe they know what to do. Who will join Chicago police officers in protecting the rights of the victims and the families? Today, CPD Superintendent David Brown, when asked about the escalating gun violence in the city, pointed to a sharp rise in violent offenders being put back on the streets on electronic monitoring instead of staying locked up in jail. The orders coming from Cook County judges. The chief judge and the judges make the decisions on uh, let's try to mind you. Sheriff Dart has chimed in on this. In fact, the Cook County Sheriff's Office said in a statement to WGN this electronic monitoring was designed to ensure that individuals facing low level, nonviolent crimes appear in court. It was not designed for violent offenders. Still this year, Cook County judges ordered it more than 1,000 times in those cases, including for 94 people charged with murder. 261 charged as armed habitual offenders and more than 500 each of felons possessing a weapon and aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. It's the judges uh, who uh, have obviously made a decision about violent offenders being okay to be back in the community. One of those offenders is 21-year-old Cedric Robinson, 
charged with the attempted murder of a three-year-old girl here at 70th and Damon in Inglewood last June. His original bond set at $1 million, but was lowered to $100,000 by Cook County Judge Joseph Claps. You may remember Judge Claps. Well, tonight, with... people are asking, where is the outrage? Eight people shot at one home. Yes, it's another mass shooting in a matter of days, leaving some people to wonder, is Chicago becoming numb to this type of violence? This is the moment a mother learns her daughter is gone. The aching pain clear as Chicago police investigate the third mass shooting in 10 days. Eight people shot, four murdered, including three women, young mothers, Tuesday in Inglewood. Uh, we walked across the street to him, and indeed it was a little boy whose mom had been killed uh, a couple of hours earlier there in that house. Pastor Donovan Price with Solutions and Resources has crossed the yellow tape at all three recent mass shootings. Are you left wondering where is the outrage when we have so many mass shootings within two weeks? I think to myself, of course, I, I wish that more people would get mad about it because when people get emotional about something, then they, they move and they cause movement. Yet Price refuses to run out of optimism and prayer for Chicago as the city grapples with what many consider complacency with repeat mass shootings. Just open back up, trying to get back to regular. Regular for us has equated to violence. Absolutely. Police Superintendent David Brown and Mayor Lori Lightfoot are trying to address the uphill battle. Yet Price says it's time people stop thinking like this. Oh, that's terrible what happened over there in Inglewood to them. And understand all neighborhoods are feeling the impact of the gun violence and these mass shootings. The lack of outcry is part of the problem. He knows CPD will continue to respond to more crime scenes. Now he's crying out beyond the city and state. Federal help, can you come to Chicago? Now the mayor says that the federal government needs to step up and keep illegal guns from coming into Chicago. Live outside police headquarters tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Brad? Jermont, our thanks. Sadly, as we finish with Jermont, we've got another word of a mass shooting at this hour, this time in the 3800 block of West Monroe. That's in West Garfield Park. Police say at least four people shot. Their conditions at this hour unknown. That would be four mass shootings in Chicago in just two weeks.